Hey guys, it's me Victoria and in today's video we are going to be talking about 10 hamster products that I could not live without. Now I did this video six years ago and today's video is going to be my top 10 hamster products I couldn't live with. So I thought it was about time that I redid it and just gave an updated version. So the first product that I wouldn't be able to live without would be the KT Clean and Cozy Hamster Bedding. This is my absolute favorite hamster bedding just because of the fact of how well it holds up burrows because it is really important your hamster is going to burrow and you need something that's going to be able to hold a good burrow. I also like the fact that it's not super duper expensive because you do get quite a bit because this does expand a lot, but this definitely would have to be my favorite hamster bedding. The next product would have to be a hamster treat. Now this isn't specifically made for hamsters, but it is safe and these are the Gerber baby puffs. So these are made for babies, but they are perfectly safe for hamsters. All of the ingredients are perfectly fine. Um, and these are great because they're not too fatty or sugary. So you can give your hamster a couple of these without having to worry about them. And I dropped one. <laughs> but these can be found at your local grocery store in the baby section. You just wanna make sure you go with a flavor that's safe. Um, try to stay away from anything that has spices in it. Um, try to go for just like the fruit ones like banana, strawberry, blueberry, ones like that. The next product I have is another treat slash chew and these are the Whimsy Dog Chews. Now once again these aren't specifically made for hamsters but they are perfectly safe. All of the ingredients are safe for hamsters and they are really hard because they're a dog chew so they can be good for wearing down your hamster's teeth. Now because they are edible, you are going to want to make sure that you don't give these too too often because you don't want your hamster to just eat whimsy dog chews. But I haven't had a hamster who hasn't enjoyed chewing on these. The next product would have to be the Zoomed Reptile Sand. I actually got this for my hamster sand bath video, but I have really, really enjoyed this sand. It's super duper soft, so I have been mixing it in with my children's play sand for the hamsters and it makes it really really soft because this is soft so it just makes a really good mixture and you can find this at your local pet store in the reptile section because it is reptile sand um, you can also get this on amazon the next product is the ikea nuff once again a product that is not made for hamsters but it is an awesome one for hamsters because this is a magazine holder or file holder and you can buy this and then just boop flip it on its side and this is a really awesome hamster platform and level so you can put stuff on the bottom here and you can put stuff on top I also would suggest just taking a saw and you can saw out the bottom wood piece so then bedding can go through and they can't pee on this wood here but these are really great and I honestly would recommend them Next, I definitely would have to recommend Bendable Bridges. This is a hamster necessity when it comes to owning hamsters. You need to have some Bendable Bridges because they are just awesome and you can do so much with them. This one actually is from Petco and I think this is the guinea pig size, but this honestly would be too small for a guinea pig in my opinion. But this size is really perfect for steering hamsters and dwarves. So these are awesome, love these. The next product that I have is another one that's not made for hamsters, but that is grapevine wood and this works perfect, especially if you're someone who's wanting to try to give your hamster a more natural cage. This is a great climbing surface as well as you can take little treats and hang them off of the wood branches, but these are just perfect and they're great for hamster cages. Um, you can get this in your local pet store in the reptile section. So the next product I have is once again, not made for hamsters, but I'm absolutely obsessed with them, and that is cork logs. This is a cork log. Um, it's just like a log that's hollowed out, and this is a perfect natural tunnel for your hamster. I'm absolutely obsessed with these because they come in so many different sizes and shapes, and it's just a really natural tunnel for your hamster, as well as because there's so much texture on top, you can sprinkle food on there, and your hamster has to try and forage, and kind of get them out of the cracks and crevices, which is really awesome. So I really love cork logs, perfectly safe for your hamster. 
and you can get these at your local pet store once again in the reptile section. The next product is a wheel and that is the Silent Runner wheel. This has to be one of my favorite hamster wheels. It actually is silent when your hamster runs in it unless they put food in it of course. But this wheel is great because it actually doesn't have one of those axles that sticks all the way through which I like. So it is easy to clean. You just pop off this front part and you can have access to clean it. But um, it also has just holes in it so your hamster has to climb in. So these are really good for robo hamsters because robos run super duper fast and when they're running sometimes they'll just stop or they can't stop the wheel so they'll go flying but this prevents them from flying out of the wheel. I got this silent runner off of exoticnutrition.com I think it was um, and they're fairly cheap and this is the nine inch wheel. And the last product I have here is a digital kitchen scale. If you are someone who plans to own hamsters for a really, really long time, I highly would recommend getting a kitchen scale because this is the only way you can tell if your hamster is gaining and losing weight really fast or if they are overweight or underweight. A kitchen scale is super duper helpful. Um, I really would recommend a digital one because it's a little bit more exact than the manual ones. They're kind of hard to figure out, but I got this digital scale from Walmart, but you can get them pretty much anywhere and they're not too expensive either. So yeah guys, those are all of the products that I currently recommend and could not live without and I use a lot of them daily and I hope this gives some ideas for your hamster cages and what to buy for them. So yeah, thank you for watching. Bye!